It's going to be one of those days again. I just came home and my house is full of pigs. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft The Journey. Thank you for joining me. We're here playing in Minecraft InfDev version 2010-06-17-2 and Minecraft The Journey is the amazing Let's Play survival series where we're playing Minecraft all the way from the earliest development versions right the way through to the current release. And the aim of this game is that we will be upgrading Minecraft through the different versions available as we go. We'll try and keep this world if we can, I hope we can, all the way through. And we will be dealing with all sorts of different issues like world upgrade and world upgrade issues where the terrain generation changes which we've seen in some of the previous episodes as well as having to deal with the fact that this game is not yet fully developed. Not all of the blocks exist. We have some blocks that look different to others. And so that means, I mean, there's no redstone. So that means that when it comes to farming in the near future, we're going to have to come up with creative and old school ways of... Did you hear that? That sounded like fire. We're going to have to come up with creative old school ways to build farms. And that's going to be a new challenge to me because I started playing Minecraft in 1.7.9 or something like that. So that was considerably late in the life cycle of Minecraft. Which means I never got to play around with all of the old school mechanics. So I'm really enjoying doing this series and I know you're enjoying coming along for the ride with me. Now this is, as I said, version 2010.06.17-2 and we have done everything we need to do in this particular version of Minecraft. We've explored all of the blocks, we've experienced the cave generation, we've even now found diamonds, although I have to say... I was very disappointed by the last caving exhibition because we explored, I don't know how much of that cave. That cave was absolutely ginormous and unfortunately I did not find a single diamond, even though I was down at the bottom of the world for quite a bit. So I was very sad about that. The first vein of iron, uh, not iron, <laughs> diamonds. The first vein of diamonds we found was right down there underneath the base. So that was very fortunate. And this is part of the first world generation terrain what am i saying about that i mean this is the area of the map where the first type of world terrain came in so that means that the diamonds have been here since the very beginning i just didn't find them until now and that's all right i'll find more don't you worry but as i said we've accomplished everything we need to and i think it's time to upgrade to our next version so I'm going to wait this night away and then by the time we come back, we should be in a brand new version of InfDev. Hello? Hello Minecraft? Are you there? Hmm. Well, if things went right, this should be Minecraft InfDev 2010-06-17-3. Although I'm a little bit confused, I have to say, because I appear to have a copy, a copy of this version, but by all my research, well, really just by looking on the Minecraft wiki at the Java versions history, which is where I check my change logs, this version never existed. And that's a little bit weird because I have it and it seems to be consistent with what we were playing before. My suspicion is that in the last version there were a couple of features added that we weren't able to get working. First, when lava hits water it's supposed to form cobble and although this was done before that was introduced which explains why we will always have these two doing this without cobble forming, we did test it over here but it didn't seem to work. So I'm going to get myself my buckets back and see if we can replicate that and see if we can generate some cobble. Maybe something was wrong with the release notes there. I'm not sure, and I don't know what all this is about. Flowing water, this should be solid water. Yeah, so I'm not sure what that's all about. But, you know, the release notes around this time were always a little bit vague. And the other thing is, there's no real way to tell exactly which version you have. You know, maybe there are some ways, but there's no easy way to tell exactly which version that you have because Minecraft at this point in its release, in, in this at this point, can't speak hello, at this point in its development was not putting out version numbers. So all you see up in the top left hand corner there is Minecraft InfDev. 
I happen to know it's 2010.06.17-3 because that's the name of the jar file and that's what I have to go on. Hmm, so this is interesting. Anyway, let's do a little bit of that experimentation and see where we're at. Hmm, well, I came down this tunnel to get some lava because I happened to know that there was a lava pool here at the bottom of the world. And I thought that this at first was a rendering glitch, but the closer that I get, actually, it's, it's nothing of the sort. This is a hole into the void. I'm tempted to give this a try later on because I haven't jumped into the void for quite a long time. So I think once we've gotten rid of our inventory here, we might have to come back to this and see what happens. But I have to find an alternative source of lava. I've been having a look back over the release notes and considering a couple of things. As I said, not all of the things listed on the release notes for these versions seems to work. And I think that that's because there's some confusion between the release notes in the wiki here and the reality of these releases. One of them is that it says in the previous version that one of the bug fixes is that fixed a few bugs in liquid spreading code. Now, if you went back out to the lake that we have out of the front of the house there, you might have noticed that some of the water was flowing strangely. Here, I'll show you just so you can remember here. So perhaps this was part of that bug fix and it wasn't in the last version. It was actually in this version. I don't know. Wow. Okay. Look at that huge lighting glitch there. A lighting delay as we opened up to the void. You can definitely see that that's the void because the sun's down there. Must be nighttime up there. Yikes. I don't want to fall into that hole. So I need to get myself some more stone and fill that up. Yowza. Well, I do have this lava up here, but I really want to leave this alone because this is our unique position on the world where we've got water and lava touching each other, but not doing anything. So I really would like to keep it that way. So I think what I'm going to have to do is head over in this alley direction. This is where our caves were from the last episode and the new world terrain allowed us to generate lava. And look here, I've made myself a little path to make my navigation across this part of the map a little bit easier because I had to wade through the water before and it was just getting very annoying. So this is much better. Hmm, well that's a new one. I came down into this cave and I thought, well I'll just get some more of this iron while I'm here. And then my pick broke. And I don't have any wood or any cobble or anything like that. So I'm going to have to use the iron that I made to make some steps to get back out of the cave to find my way home again, go up to the surface and get myself some logs. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I'm hanging around this spot because look, we have lava everywhere. It's good. But look at this strangeness that I just witnessed. Okay, there's this furnace. Normal furnace. Now look at this one. It's lit. It must retain the amount of, I don't know, heat that it had before. That, that's really strange. Didn't expect that at all. There's no fuel in there, but I must have picked it up while it still had a full uh, oven full of fire. I don't know what's going on there. Need to just use that now to smelt the rest of this iron so I can get some more buckets. I figured that while I was over here, I might as well get as much lava as I can carry within reason because it looks like back over at spawn, we won't have access to any nearby lava anymore, which is a real shame because it takes quite a while to trek across the map to get to somewhere where lava actually exists now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh. <laughs> that gave me a fright. Um, yeah, okay. One of the things I forgot about the change log was that obsidian now forms. I guess I just triggered a block update. Ooh, wow. Well. I am back home. What I want to do though is I want to get my crazy ovens wherever they are. Oh, they've stacked. I wonder if the, st if the stacking will actually mean that they've lost that heat. No, they haven't. They've retained that heat. So these are our crazy ovens that will just stay on forever even though they have nothing in them. So this house is turning out to be a collection of strange and wonderful things as a result of bugs in Minecraft. And I wonder if we upgrade to next versions of Minecraft, if this bug gets fixed, or if these things just stay lit forever. It will be interesting to see. And I need to put a sign up there so I remember exactly what that is all about. Now, as I was on my way back, I was thinking about the mining situation here in this world. 
And as you can see, we got ourselves 40 extra ore that we just got while we were mining around those caves when we came back there, and also some of this lovely, lovely coal, which I actually need because you tear through the coal when you're making torches. And also tons of this lava, which we needed for our experiment. We've gotten very distracted so far this episode, haven't we? Oh well. But the point was that I remember a comment that I received from Seller who put on a comment a couple of episodes ago saying that in these early versions of Minecraft, I needed to be mining in a southwesterly direction of the world because in these early versions, there's a bug in the game where the ore generation favors the southwesterly direction of the map. Now, over that way is the northwesterly direction, I believe. There's the sun. It sets in the west. That must be north. North east south west so what i actually have to do is be mining off in this direction rather than up in this direction so if i were to get an ore map if that were to be possible i would imagine that this side is going to be full of iron i mean full of diamonds and this side is going to be less full of diamonds so we might have to put that to the test a little bit later on because i'm in desperate need of, of diamonds i only have a few and i want to get myself decked out with some decent tools and gear as well because it's just been bothering me tearing through all these iron picks all the time i'm getting sick of it so why don't i get myself set up here so we can do some experiments with this um lava and see if we can get some cobble generated oh have a look at this which i just noticed these are the old trees their trunks go only up to the canopy of the tree like that and just down here i chopped one down let's see if i can find another one yeah look at this one this one is a new tree and the trunk now grows all the way right up into the top of the tree and you get much more wood these were awful for uh, farming wood oh so that's exciting Okay, back to the experiments. We're going to have to do this one at night time. It's just getting dark. That's because we can't sleep the nights away. But I've put down some lava here, and if I go up to this side as well and put down some water, I'm expecting that this block here in the center should turn to cobblestone. So let's check it out. It does. So look at... Oh, it, it stretched over there. Okay, so if we want to make a cobblestone generator, we need to have eight blocks of dirt. Let's, uh, oh, I don't have a shovel anymore. My shovel ran out because I cleared some space around here. Let's just quickly make a new shovel. Uh, there we go. Okay. So I think if we just bring this back a few blocks and get our bucket back. Okay. Uh, where's the water source? There it is. We'll get rid of these. Put this back. Okay, so that should run one, two, three, four blocks. So it should always be at that block there where we need to be keeping our eye on things. That one right there. Then we want um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think if I make that one the water source block, there we go, cobblestone. Now, no, I've made it one too many. <laughs> okay, so it needs to be one more. Oh, there we go. So if we put that water block in there, now we should be cooking, right? Okay. Let's see. We made obsidian. We shouldn't have made obsidian. As far as I know, it's supposed to make cobble, and obsidian should only form when it's a lava source block. Hmm, that's really strange. I also don't have any diamond tools to get rid of this at the moment because my diamond pick is up in my chest and I wanted to keep that because it's my first diamond pick. And now I've got a diamond block, but I don't think I can pick up a diamond block because I've only got iron tools. I don't know. Let's try it. Yes! Oh, whew. my heart was pumping there because I thought I was going to lose those diamonds. Okay, let's get our diamonds back. Let's make ourselves a new diamond pick. Unfortunately, we've lost our diamond block, but I suspect that when we head back out into the world and uh, start mining in that southwesterly direction, we are going to get diamonds galore, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is some experimentation we can do with the obsidian as well because we haven't had a chance to see this in this version at least. Let's get ourselves some light here. 
So the diamond pick is what I need in order to be able to break the obsidian. Let's have a look. Wow, that's slow. Very slow. Okay, and it dropped a cobble. <laughs> um, that was a bit unexpected. Is that a bug? Let's try it again. Yeah, uh, it seems to generate obsidian. Okay, let's get rid of this again. All right, definitely no obsidian. Now what happens if the lava comes down from up the top here? So if we just pick up this lava source and let's put that there. We've got water right here. So let's just dig that in a, a few blocks there. There we go. We'll put, um, where's my cobble? There it is. Put that there. Let's put some lava in the, uh, Let's put some lava in the back there and see what happens. Okay, so the lava should pour down onto that block. No, did I put it one too many back? Let's see what happens now. Ah, oh, I just formed obsidian again. Hmm. Okay, one more try. I've brought the block forward one, although I don't think it's going to make any difference. I suspect another obsidian. Yep. Oh, oh dear, we're going to get more obsidians now, aren't we? No. Okay, we're lucky. Mm. Oh, something's after me. Hello, you. Ah, oh, it's so rare that I get to see hostile mobs these days. Why don't you come down and jump in that lava? Come on. <laughs> well, that was an easy kill. Oh, I can't get out. Ah. <laughs> have to do it that way well despite the fact that this thing produces obsidian and then you get a cobblestone drop i suppose technically it is a cobblestone generator just a really woefully inefficient one so i've simplified the design a little bit i've put a hole in the ground here so that the water only has to go one block and then here on the left hand side we will drop our lava and as you can see sizzle Yes, we get an obsidian block, but in the future, when the game is updated, that should become a cobblestone block. So let me just mine this out, and then you'll see exactly how the cobblestone generator works. Et voila! It is infinite. Well, like I said, a terribly inefficient way to get cobblestone. But we have built it. We have built our cobblestone generating machine, so... You can't be unhappy with that, right? That's the first piece of automation of sorts that we have actually built in this world. So we had to start somewhere. But for now, I think I'm going to have to leave it like that because I really can't use this to generate cobblestone, not at least until the game updates. But unfortunately, that is all we have time for today as uh, I have been busy doing all sorts of things this episode, but I'm glad I got done what I needed to get done build my cobblestone generator even if it doesn't work yes so thank you so much for joining me i've uh, enjoyed your company today and i hope you've enjoyed mine and i shall see you in the next episode if you enjoyed today's content then please do leave me a like leave me a comment as well if you want to and subscribe for more content like this but until the next episode thank you so much goodbye son this has been bugman cx you've been watching minecraft the journey Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we go, we have forgotten something incredibly important. I'll see you downstairs in a moment. Remember this? Are you ready? And? Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh... I kind of expected to die. Um...